Good morning. Today we're gonna have some fun with um, a cartoon character. And I just wanted to show you some of these ideas that I thought were really whimsical and um, just happy and very colorful and um, can be a lot of fun to do. So we've got um, a few examples to show you before we start. And um, this is the Tasmanian Devil. And as you can see, it's not the entire um, body, but just part of his face, and it's cut off the edges of your paper. Uh, this one that we have here, Donald Duck, and um, lots of character, some patterns in the, in the background, um, color blocking, where you have the color bre breaking up in the background. Um, outlined in a very bright color. Um, this one, kind of similar, um, where you've got Mickey and Goofy uh, and Donald Duck. And I, I just think, um, you know, it's okay not to have the entire body of the character in your drawing, um, that you could just do part of it and it works in the composition. So we've got that. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing this um, Bugs Bunny. <laughs> it took me a minute to remember his name. Anyway, um, you could use color pencil to do the outline. I'm going to use a yellow, as you can see, like in this sample, to outline um, the character. And... And, um, you know, it doesn't have to be yellow that we're doing the outline in. I just happen to have yellow. Um, I suggest you do the drawing in pencil first. That way, if you need to make adjustments, it'll be easy for you to do. And um, you could use temper paint and just use a fine brush to do the... Um, um, to do the outlining, I've got a small round which has a nice point to it and just choose one color for the actual drawing. So today it'll just be part one. We'll see how long it takes us. We don't have many more weeks left of school and I'd rather not rush through the project. I'd rather, you know, spend some time developing it and we can definitely make this um, mixed media. Um, and just have some fun. So what I suggest you use is I've got a nine by 12 mixed media um, multi-technique paper and we're gonna do it a little bigger today. And so we'll just put this aside and like I said, you can choose any color you want to do the basic outline of the character. So, um, I'm gonna start with my yellow. And I've got a paint pen. These are Posca paint pens and they're really terrific. If you don't have a paint pen, you could use a marker. Markers are fine. Color pencil, you could even use crayon. Um, so there are lots of alternatives to doing this. So if you don't have one me uh, particular medium, you can use um, other ones. All right, so when we look at the paper, um, we're going to want to get a, a feel for where the center is of your paper. Right in the middle is where the center is. I'm going to drop my finger down just a little bit and over slightly to the left. And with my paint pen, I'm going to just draw a, um, a short yellow line that's straight. And I hope you can see this. If you can't, I'll switch to another color. So why don't I just do blue? That might be easier for you to see the, the color. Again, I'm using Posca paint marker. Um, you could use a chalk marker. And I'm just gonna go over that yellow. And it turns out when you add blue to yellow, you've got green. So I'm going to make a tiny triangle for the tip of, uh, for the small nose that he has. 
and I'm just gonna clean this marker a little bit use a piece of scrap paper to test it and then I'm just going to go at the tip of that triangle and draw a small curve under for um, the, the cheek area underneath the nose and then you're going to draw another curve but it's going to take you up and stop right across from the other point of your triangle and once you're done doing that larger curve then you're going to take a straight line and you're going to connect it to the corner of that triangle that we've made for the nose now once you're done with that part we're going to go right underneath the first cheek that we drew and we're going to take a line coming kind of straight down do a line um, going under right across like an L shape and then you're going to take that and go right up to the side of the cheek area so you can see it's kind of a, a rounded rectangular shape or the bottom of a rectangle now where the nose and the tip of the nose and those two curves connect you're going to draw a straight line not going all the way to the bottom of that rounded rectangle but just halfway so once i've done with that part and that's going to be the teeth of my rabbit i'm going to go right to um, the corner of that rounded rectangle and i'm going to drop a line coming down and make a nice curve under and it's going to go up kind of out slightly as you can see like a, a nice big u shape and you're going to find where the um, teeth and the cheek meet you're going to go right to the top of that line and you're going to connect to that curved area so you can see it's a straight line tilted at um, an angle all right so now we're going to go back to where we started with the nose and you're going to go to the other point so you can see we've worked from each corner of that triangle and you're going to curve out and up okay and you can see that's a nice long curve line and <clears throat> right when you're finished at that point you're going to make a curve and then take a straightened line and come right down not to the corner of the nose but where that straight line will finish off see if you've curved out far enough you'll definitely take it straight down and have a little bit of space still between the corner of the nose and the bottom of the eye so right at the bottom part of that almost teardrop shape you're going to make a curve over and that will be for the eye of our rabbit now um, he's got pretty large cheeks uh, as you can see in the sample that I showed you so we're gonna go where um, this little cheek area is or yeah cheek area but this part of the mouth um, so we're gonna go right to the corner right here where the smaller cheek is attached to the nose and you're gonna curve up and out I'm gonna stop right there and on top of that curved line we're gonna add the other eye so we're not gonna do it too close to that smaller cheek area we're gonna allow some space over and then you're gonna make a curve up. You don't want it any taller or shorter than the first eye that we drew. So make sure you do a nice curve and take that right down to this larger cheek area. And then the corner of the second eye, you're going to be drawing the other um, pupil of the eye for the rabbit, okay? so. Now what we're going to do is let's get back to, and I'm going to use my, because I drew it lightly in pencil, I'm going to just erase part of it. 
And just be careful not to erase over the marker. You just want to clean it up just a tiny bit. Now, in this part right here where the mouth is open, this is the teeth. Um, you're going to go to the side of the mouth and you're going to make a curve and you're not going to take it all the way down to the bottom of the mouth that's open and then you're going to make another curve and as you can see it looks like the top of a heart and that's going to be for the tongue okay so let's get back over here where we started to do the cheek and we're going to make a curve line it's going to curve and come down and we're going to do a couple longer and shorter zigzags and that's going to curve under and stop close to the bottom of the mouth so that gives you a kind of a guideline as to where you're going to stop that and um, Again, if you have any light pencil lines, clean them up as you work. And then you can go back over later. Just be careful. Okay. Oops, sorry. <laughs> there. Now, what we're going to do is... We're gonna go to the side of the first eye that we drew, right roughly where the top of the pupil is on um, Bugs's face, um, right by his eye. So you're gonna go right next to it and you're gonna curve out, as you can see, right there. And again, doing a couple zigzags, you could do a couple to create some texture and then curve. So you've got two curves that connect to each other. And then clean up. You'll see I cleaned up too soon or too close to the paint and it's smudged, which is okay because we're going to go back in there and color. So be patient. Don't rush it. And and don't worry because anything can be changed or um, adjusted. Okay, so let's go to the top of the first eye and we're going to make a curve line and show some hairs that are right over the eye. So you're going to make another curve line and it's going to connect to the first one that I've made and then we're going to go right to the side of that hair and take a short line out and make another curve and go back up. So you can see we've got some hairs right above the first eye that we drew. Now, um, after you're done with the hairs, you're gonna take a short line going right past that um, section. And then we've got some more hairs. <laughs> so right in between, and these are wider zigzag lines and it's really placed kind of right on the top of the head and the forehead and right underneath the first ear that we have um, drawn out. Okay, so we've got um, all the hairs in place. Now let's add some whiskers. So we're gonna go right to the smaller cheek area, right underneath that triangle that we did for the nose. And you're gonna go right to the cheek area and you're gonna take a curved line and you're gonna go right past the larger section of his face. And we're only gonna do three whiskers. As you can see, they're all right by that smaller cheek. And so you're taking three curved lines and extending them past this larger cheek area of our rabbit. Now let's do the other side. So you're gonna go right next to the larger cheek and you're gonna go right past this section and you're gonna make three. And they're all just past the cheek area. Okay, so it's okay to do that. 
Now, we're gonna go right to and do the bottom, um, right where the neck is, and we're gonna get right to the bottom of that line where we finished, and you're gonna curve out, and you're gonna take it right to the very bottom of your paper, okay? Now, right on the, attached to that curve line, you're gonna do a smaller curve, just further up from the center of that line and add another smaller curve and then just take it right down to the bottom of the paper and I'll clean up the lines after I'm done. Okay, so on the other side of the neck right here where the end of that line finished, you're gonna curve out and you're gonna stop allowing some space at the bottom of your paper and then you're gonna go right to the end of that line and you're gonna curve and take it to the bottom of the paper that you have. And you're gonna go back right to where that line ended and kind of space out your curve. So move it over so you have a little section here that looks like a tooth. And then we're gonna go one more and then take that down to the bottom of the paper. Right on the top of those small curve lines, you're just gonna go right um, over with a line that's straight, but kind of going upright, upwards, I should say. Okay, so go right past the side of the neck. You're gonna do a smaller curve just over from that longer line that we made, and then draw a line right to this longer line. And then you're going to curve out and it has a slight curve at the bottom. As you can see, it's attached right to that line that you can see it looks kind of like a, um, kind of a interesting triangular with a longer space right here. Um, and so we've got the bottom of our rabbit already drawn out. Let's do the ears and then we're gonna stop for today. All right, so where the hairs were drawn, right on the forehead, or above the forehead, you're gonna go where you did the first hair, this first kind of angular line, and we're gonna go right close to the tip of it, and you're gonna curve out and take that right to the top of your paper and make a kind of a slight point at the end and it kind of curves in and out and stop. Don't take it all the way down to this part of the head. Now we're going to do the inside of the ear. So you're going to go right to the second hair that we have here. That's kind of like a nice guide point for you. Curve out and go up, not all the way to the top of the ear. This is just the, the inside of the ear and then take that line and go straight down. Or you can make it slightly curved if you want. All right, last year, back of the head, and we're done with drawing our rabbit. And then next week we'll start adding color and some patterns. Okay, so let's go right next to the bottom of the last hair on the forehead. You can make a guide dot to where you're gonna start the second ear. You're gonna curve out, and as you can see what happens is it's gonna join that the end of the line that we drew for the back part of the first year, and then you're gonna continue that line and go right up to the top of your paper, make a point, and then you're gonna curve out, and you're going to like stop where you started that year, right next to it and let's draw the in the inside of the ear so we're going to do right in between these two lines where they end we're going to draw the inside you're going to curve out kind of looks like the shape of a a candle flame and then take that down okay so let's bring this back ear line just slightly longer and then you're going to curve out and it should touch this cheek area of your rabbit, okay? Doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to look exactly like mine, but this should get you going, it should help you, um, guide you, 
and when it's dry then you can you know clean up any eraser lines um, or pencil lines with your eraser and then we'll go from this next week and introduce some color to it okay so thank you so much and i'll talk to you soon bye